when i was a kid i had a subscription to game informer magazine i wish this was my picture it's not i found this on reddit i actually don't know whatever happened to all those magazines but i had a mountain of them and i would always go through and look at all the new upcoming games and look at the reviews for games that i've heard about and so when shop titans wanted me to review their game in a sponsored video i was excited because i don't think i've ever posted a game review here on this channel that might be something i consider on my second channel at some point if you guys didn't know it'll be linked down below but i have been playing shop titans for about a week now and i have been absolutely addicted i'll think that i've broken my addiction and then i jump on the game for just a couple of minutes oh, i'm just gonna play for just a couple of minutes and the next thing you know an hour goes by and i'm like super rich and i made a bunch of progress but i just spent it i just spent an hour and so needless to say i've been having a lot of fun with shop titans this week and so today we're gonna give the game a review but first what's going on guys cheers look at this this is my tamagotchi and today i discovered that it has passed away and before it died it told me that it's because you didn't like and subscribe and so it takes one second it's free and it's not too late to save the next one don't let this be on your conscience anyway let's talk about shop titans real quick what is the concept of the game like what are you actually doing when you're playing shop titans you are as the name suggests a titan of the shopkeeper industry okay you are building out a little store that sells weapons armor food potions everything that you would basically imagine in a you know in a vendor's shop in your favorite rpg game your favorite high fantasy magical experience you are the dude selling all of that and you're looking very handsome while you're doing it because you're wearing a king's crown and in the past week i have reached 1.5 million net worth and i anticipate by the time this video goes live it'll be well over 2 million at the current rate that i am grinding well, let's get that surcharge real quick yo hey now in order to get your shop filled with all of these goodies i mean you can see i've got some some walking sticks over here we've got some like staffs for all the mages that come through we've got some armor we've got some cutlasses we've got some secret scrolls over here we got a nice shield on the table there in order to get all of this fancy stuff on the racks of your shop you have to rely on everyone else in your city so you get the iron from the iron mine and then your smithy will actually craft the items that you ask them to craft and then once you've used the materials and have it crafted then you can sell it to individuals that come into your shop that request it or if you're very snazzy you can actually suggest or sort of upsell them to something else and as you progress through the game you're going to unlock like the wizard tower you're going to get the temple the wood workshop you're going to get the training hall apothecary bakery restaurant jewel workshop and there's plenty more here that i have i haven't even scratched to the surface i feel like there's so much to do in the game but it's not just crafting and selling and decorating a little shop because you also get some of the materials that you need from questing and i found this aspect of the game quite cool as well because you actually build out a team of multiple heroes and champions to send on these quests and bring back the loot and one of the things that you're responsible for as a shopkeeper in the game is equipping your different heroes with a bunch of different gear and so you're crafting weapons and armor for your mages and for your warriors and your rogues and you can craft more powerful equipment for these characters and as they get stronger they can complete better quests and it's it's got this nice little idle rpg aspect to it and then on top of all of that you get to like design the actual shop here and so my goal if you've been watching all the videos in the series which if you haven't by the way the other two will be on the channel go ahead and check those out but my goal is to sort of make a an, a shop that i feel like would be something that you would see like like the lion's pride in or you know some sort of little shop set up in the middle of elwyn forest okay i used to play a lot of world of Warcraft. This game is not affiliated with them in any way, but I just got those vibes. Okay. I just got those vibes. And I mean, you see, we're like in the middle of a uh, middle of the trees here, a little forest. And I just like, you know, you got the wood floor and I put in a little fireplace and I don't know, that was just the cozy vibes that I was going for. And it was nice that the game accommodated that, right? That fit with the lore. And it was exciting because I could see, you know, when I first started the game, I only started off with just this center square here. And I built out the left and right side. And you would know that if you watched the previous videos, but there's much more that I can expand on to as I continue playing the game and the next expansion is a million so I'm gonna have to be a I'm gonna have to be a, a big baller to uh to, to continue expanding here but for such a simple concept the game is shockingly addicting it is actually super addicting the progress that you make 
is fast it feels rewarding to make this progress because you're given meaningful decisions that you have to make and it might be simple things like should I small talk this individual or not if I do it and I succeed I get more energy and I can use that to surcharge which is going to increase the price that I can sell goods for right it looks like I backfired here so there you go I'm going to small talk again and we get a success that time which feels nice but you feel like you're actually rewarded for being a skilled shopkeeper understanding supply and demand understanding how much of each piece you should have out on your on your racks you can actually go in and you can change what's on the rack if you don't want just these two you can add something else unfortunately I don't have anything else to add but understanding that decorations in your shop actually have value because it makes the customers look at them and say oh wow this place looks really nice and then you actually get energy from that and so there's a literal value a tangible value on there and so while it seems like a very simple idle RPG game you can get good at it there are skills that you can develop and learn and understand the game more or because the game is so simple and it's so easy to play and I can play on my computer or on my phone and it's the same account I just jump in play a few seconds or a few hours and then jump out the replay value here is super high at least for me now one key component that I haven't come across and as far as I know it doesn't exist in the game but that would be PvP and I know that a lot of people that watch this channel are interested in mainly city building war games right that's a lot of what we cover here on the channel you build up your city and then you attack other players with your alliance like that's typically what we cover here and in this game there is a guild and there is a community aspect of that guild and as you can see here all of my guild members are right here we got flavor towns little shop over here you can see it's much smaller this is kind of like what you start with okay this is how my shop first looked and I can see he's got a cute little rug in the middle here so he's definitely he's definitely doing something right but one thing that is notably missing at least from what I can see is PvP I don't see any sort of game modes and maybe this comes near the end of the game but I haven't come across any game modes and as far as I know no, it doesn't seem like there's any PVP at all, which puts this game in a totally different class than a lot of games that I cover here on the channel. And that for me is a breath of fresh air, right? Like in other city builders. Yes, of course you can craft different equipment. You can put it on your heroes, your commanders, your whatever you want to call them. And you go into war. And in this game, you're kind of doing the same thing. You build equipment, put it on your heroes. You send them out to do quests, right? But there's no PVP. And what that actually does, you might think that that's a bad thing. And for some players who are very like motivated with PVP, PvP. sure that would be a bad thing but oh man I keep backfiring today oh my god sorry I'm getting distracted but like I just this is what happens right I, like I just I, I start doing one thing and then I get just, just distracted and I'm I'm just playing the game anyway without there being PvP in the game this turns into a super chill idle RPG there is no risk here there's no real FOMO right there's no waking up and losing everything I think that that's a really big downside to some of the city builder games that we cover here on this channel is that it's not very casual friendly right those games have events that you have to be there for if you're not there for a particular event you just miss the value for your account and don't get me wrong this game has timed events as well but the consequence of missing those events isn't logging in and having everything in your city burn to the ground you just log in and there's just customers and they just want to buy stuff and you just pick up where you left off and that's it and that makes the game so much more chill and it's a really nice change of pace at least for me because I've been playing the same sort of genre of game on this channel for literally years now and so shop titans has scratched that itch of it being a sort of cartoony high fantasy game where you can still make equipment and you can still collect different heroes I mean the next one costs 100 grand so it's a little expensive for me right now but we'll get there okay we'll get there and like these heroes are are interesting because you can actually customize them right and this isn't this isn't like behind a paywall this isn't like anything like that like I can just come in here and I can change how he looks body type and like you know skin tone hair hairstyle hair color like all this stuff right and you can change their names and you could like get to sort of you, you kind of grow attached to these characters my first ever soldier was Bartholomew right I made him I recruited him in episode one you should check that out and I it felt good to see him complete quests and as I as a shopkeeper got better he actually started getting better gear and Bartholomew just kept slaying the goblins in the forest and I felt good about it right and so you can build out like this roster of characters and each character is one that you can create my newest one that I just added was Sven okay and Sven is he's just so he just I don't <laughs> 
I love it. I love how he looks. He's great. I love the hat. I, the leather hat just really does it for me. But the game still scratches that itch of the city builders where I'm crafting equipment, collecting different heroes, and building a stronger set of heroes with my stronger equipment and making that progress. But you don't have any of the downsides of like waking up to a fate changer and everything is burned to the ground. And you don't have like your alliance or guild members like, hey, if you don't log in, you're going to get kicked out and we're going to burn you. And like, it's not that my alliance in other games would actually do that but I've heard that story from many of you before and that is definitely a downside for those types of games right it's it's stressful sometimes to play certain city builders and so shop titans is a much more casual friendly much more chill game in a similar genre that scratches some of the same itches as those city builders and depending on who you are the lack of pvp might be a pro or a con let's see what grimar wants this is the wizard here he wants uh oh he wants to sell me 10 scrolls of armor and this is basically free money because i know those are going to sell and i can sell them for a lot more than what i just paid for him so big brain baby big brain i'm gonna surcharge you for the cutlass baby let's Let's go next up i want to talk about the graphics of shop titans this is something that in the first like three seconds you download the game and the first thing you do is create what your shopkeeper looks like right and the first thing that i noticed was the graphical style and i think that the graphical style might be polarizing for some people some people might say hey they don't love the cartoon graphics i personally love them i love this style of graphics as i mentioned before the reason that i even wanted to make this place feel like you know a a shop in the middle of elwyn forest okay is because i immediately got those world of warcraft vibes and if you guys haven't noticed world of warcraft has been around for 20 plus years at this point right and so cartoony stylized graphics are successful historically i mean when you look at the most successful battle royale games you think of PUBG, you think of warzone but what's the number one it's fortnite it's the cartoony one right and so these graphics to me not only do i love them but i do think that they have mass appeal they're charming but there's enough style there to have pieces that do look cool right there are pieces that are cool even though it does have a more cartoony vibe to it you can make your shop look really cute or you could make it look really cool and there's like everything in between and i i just to me the graphics and art style are great i think they've aged beautifully right like this game and i'm going to remind you guys this is the five-year anniversary of shop titans and that's why we're doing this one week-long event here and there's a lot of games that are five years old or even less than that that don't look great because they just haven't aged well right but this game ages perfectly and because of the style it runs flawlessly on any device that I've tried it on, right? I've tried it on my PC. I've tried it on my phone. It runs perfectly. And again, it's a much more chill game. So you don't need high frame rate. You don't need like, you know, there's not, there's not a million like actions per second or per minute, right? Like it's nothing like that. It's a very chill game that just looks cozy. And I personally think the graphical style is very crisp. Like it's very clean, but it's got that cartoony style that I personally love in games. And I've talked about this even in videos of other games right I've talked about the fact that I prefer that more cartoony style because I think it ages better I think it looks better on smaller screens I think there's so many benefits for games to go down that more cartoony route I mean look at Minecraft right Minecraft is like the one of the most successful if not the most successful video game in all of history and it looks like it would run on an N64 right and so I personally love how this game looks and if you saw my first episode you would know that that was like one of the first things that I even mentioned look at this massive surcharge look Look at this this is this is the satisfying part right is strategically like giving discounts to some customers and doing the small talk and decorating the entire shop to make it so that way you have like this passive energy regen so that way when you have customers that want those high ticket items you double the price on them and you feel really good about that right and and knowing that every little micromanage that you do will mean something later down the line as long as you're patient as long as you do the right things eventually you will be rewarded for playing the game correctly and i love that now the next thing i want to talk about is the sound right the sound design of the game and this fits exactly how you would think in this style of game right the themes that we've been going over in this video is chill cozy relaxing this is the type of game that this is it's not this high stakes pvp stressful whatever it's an idle rpg and the developers understood the assignment they knew the type of game that they were building and they nailed it when it came to sound design as well you have tons of little audio cues where if this game is going on in the background or on your phone while you're working or something like that you'll know when one of your crafting pieces is done crafting you'll know when your heroes and champions are coming back from a quest and all the little sound effects are 
great they make the game very enjoyable to play and i just they're very satisfying little pops and dings and and i like that and on top of that or i should say behind all of that is just a very soothing soundtrack and again the soundtrack kind of reminded me of a sort of medieval tavern right and that's the vibe that i wanted to go for here with my shop and, I, and by the way like i think i got a long way to go right like this wallpaper could use some work okay i haven't unlocked a wallpaper that i prefer but you know th there's there's a lot that we could do here to make this the shop look a little bit more uh more like what i'm going for but the music is chill the music is relaxing and there's a good chance that i used a lot of that music in this video so if you like that then you're gonna love the music in the game look at this surcharge baby look at this surcharge oh 3600 yo we're gonna hit that 100k in no time we're gonna get ourselves another hero baby oh i gotta be level 25 oh i'm only level 22. anyway the last thing i want to touch on is sort of entertainment value okay because like i said there's no pvp and so the game is entertaining in other ways right i mentioned that it's satisfying to progress you know getting better gear better equipment better weapons better heroes and decking them out and doing better quests and there's a lot of that to do by the way like i i've seen screenshots of you know people selling a single item for 1.5 million right which is like what my entire account is, has ever been worth in total right so like there's way more for me to do here and i think that's super appealing to people that like really want to grind out and like get fully immersed in the game that has a lot of content i mean the game's been around for five years and so you've got plenty to do and the benefit of that is that it's not catching up right you don't have to catch up there's no there's no rush like you just get to enjoy the game you don't have to like get to end game so you can like have the meta like there's no no like the 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 fun and the entertainment is what you're doing along the way it's not you don't have to like oh we need to like i need to have the max level whatever so that way we can, like i can join my 20 man raid group and like no 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 like sure you might want to participate in events but like you can play casually until you get until you get there it's fine and there's also other things that will pique your interest for me uh it was young man voldemort over here okay and I, I've shown Voldemort in every, sorry, Lord Voldemort. I've shown Lord Voldemort in every video and probably my YouTube shorts as well. But look at those little toe beans, dude. Oh my God, he's so cute. But yeah, basically early on in the game, you get to choose between a cat and a dog. There's other pets here that you can choose. Some of them cost gems. Some of them cost gold that you can get just by playing the game over time. You can get yourself a dog and oh my God, a little hamster, a little hamster. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Look at his little butt, dude. Oh my God. But beyond that, you can further customize your pet. I can have an, an ember themed cat, okay? Snow Peak, Tabby, Tuxedo, right? And some of these you unlock again, completely free to play. Feed the cat 40 times. Like you're going to do that once a day. So after 40 days, you're going to get this for free. This is, you know, 20 times, whatever. And then you can throw some cool accessories on there. And for me, I want to get King of the Jungle. This is another Millie right here, but I think Lord Voldemort deserves it. So we're going to get there eventually, ladies and gentlemen. You even get a little halo. That's so cute. It's not even that many gems, too. Like this is stuff that i i love it oh my god oh he's got a monocle oh my god it's adorable man it's adorable and there's a ton of furniture and stuff to unlock as well and so you can further like customize how your shop looks and to me i like that visual progression right i think that people really undermine visual progression in games people just care about stats oh i just care about the stats like does it deal more damage and like of course you know i'm always gonna pick the thing that deals more damage no matter what game i'm playing that's what i'm gonna go for but i do think there's something to be said about the visual progression of your character or of your heroes or of your commanders over time in games like this and I find it very satisfying to see not only my shopkeeper I can upgrade his appearance as well but I can upgrade the appearance of my different heroes I can unlock more champions and most importantly I can make little Lord Voldemort look cool over time yes you should pet the fluff ball absolutely thank you look at him rocking those sunglasses inside dude he is lit he is lit yo he's so faded right now oh my god big chilling he's big chilling he runs this place and he knows it bro and so all in all as a game that is literally free like yes there are there are things you can spend money on of course right all games have things that you can spend money on and this might be an unpopular opinion but I'm totally fine with that it's not like you need these things to be like meta PvP viable right like no you can if you want these things you get them if not that's fine and I think there's nothing wrong with a free game that offers things for sale like if a game you know this game has entertained me for the last week there's value in that at least for me I'm willing to pay for my entertainment right and so if a game off the shelf is 
$30, $60, whatever. And I play that for a week and I have fun. Well, I have no problem spending on a game like this, $30, $60 for a week of fun. It's not a big deal to me. Okay. But the beauty is that if you want to be fully free to play, you can do that as well. The game is hundred percent free. And so as a fully free game with all of this different content and things that you can enjoy, I think there's a lot to love about shop Titans. And I've had a lot of fun with the game this week. I will probably continue playing it even after this sponsorship is over. And if you want me to continue to make videos about shop Titans, put it in the comments section below. And while you're down there, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. It'll help get this video out into the YouTube algorithm. So other shop Titans players might see it. Of course, I do want to thank shop Titans once again for sponsoring this video without generous sponsors like shop Titans. I wouldn't be able to do what I do here on the channel. So if you appreciate any of the content, consider downloading shop Titans today for free. There will be a link in the description below. If the game looks appealing to you in any way, there's literally no downside. It is absolutely free. Play it for a little bit. See if you like it. I was pleasantly surprised. Also, while you're down there, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a shop Titans video. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.